Helldivers 2 came out earlier this month, and let me tell you, it's one hell of a game. You're out here protecting Super Earth, killing robots and bugs. It's a freaking trip. I've been playing it for a bit now, and these are some of the tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way that I wish I'd known a little bit earlier on. And honestly, some of them are pretty embarrassing, but I'm here to help you guys out. Cross, there's at least one in here that you haven't heard before, so stick around. First one is gonna be jumping is so good in Helldivers 2. Okay, it's just fantastic. It'll get you out of danger. It'll also allow you to take less damage from explosion. Think of it like rolling in Dark Souls where you'll just, you know, avoid damage altogether or just take less damage if you're gonna take a ton. But just jumping out of the way is gonna be real good. So be ready to jump at any time. Your beep, take a leap. When boom boom there, jump out of there. My next tip is gonna be don't stand there, okay? If you're standing out in the open, don't. Try and find some cover if you gotta stop for some reason, but don't just stand out in the open and definitely don't stand under where someone called in a stratagem. This is just pretty much just situational awareness. Just look around and make sure that you're not in a place that's just gonna be easy for you to be taken out. Especially if you're gonna be standing under where your stratagems are called in or where one of your buddies is gonna come in. They can't always see you when they're coming down. This next tip is gonna help you with the automatrons. And I know it may seem obvious to some of you, but it wasn't obvious to me, so I wanted to say it. When you're blowing up the automatron factories, you'll wanna throw the grenades in those top vents. I thought it was gonna be pretty much like the door, so I would wait for the door to open and one of the the automatrons would step out and then i'd try and throw in my grenade um but no it's uh that's one of those one-way doors and it does not go in there so you'll just throw it in the top vents i know this may seem obvious to some but i was throwing them at the doors for way too long and then that that wouldn't work so then i'd just be calling in stratagems to go and kill those robo sluts playing enough online then you kind of figure it out but it took a while to figure that out and it would have been a lot easier to complete a ton of missions if i'd known that a little sooner Next tip is going to be about armor. So currently there is no benefit to wearing heavy or medium armor as far as damage reduction goes. You'll definitely have whatever perks they come with, but there's not going to be really any extra protection that are given to them. But you know what is extra protection? Better speed from wearing light armor. That's going to be biggest benefit for you. And I would recommend wearing light armor above anything else, unless you've got some medium armor that's got some pretty good perks for whatever mission you're going on. They'll probably patch this in the future, but currently that's not working. So stratagems. For PC players, what you're going to want to do is change your stratagem keys from the basic ones to something else i've got a mouse with 12 keys on the side and so i just programmed it to four of those buttons and holding down q and it's way better because you won't have to stop in the middle of the battlefield and get shot at while you're trying to call in you know some reinforcements or a support weapon or anything like that. just changing it, it's going to make it just way better and you'll be able to continue at least walking while you're ordering stuff if you're on a playstation or something that's rough this next tip is also for pc players i've had this game crash a lot more than any other game i've ever played and part of the reason is because Helldivers 2 is an absolute hog when it comes to CPU usage. It's going to use up a lot more resources than you would expect. When it was just out of the box or whatnot, I checked out what my CPU was running at, and Helldivers 2 was taking up about 80% of my CPU. And I got a 10th gen CPU, but, you know, been able to handle all these other games just fine. So after going over the settings and monitoring a little bit of those, just turning down everything to just a little bit lower you don't really notice any difference turning down the settings in the game but you'll notice that your game doesn't crash as often and so i would definitely recommend that if you're you know plagued with this game always just booting you off and shutting out everything um just go ahead and turn down those settings you know it's better to be able to play the game at a little bit less quality than it is to be constantly frustrated by the game crashing whenever you're trying to launch a game this next tip when you're coming in and you're reinforcing somebody see if you can hit something on the way down it's it's honestly hilarious to be able to crush something on the way down and that's just a free kill i've destroyed automaton factories i've destroyed scout striders berserkers i haven't played too many of the bug matches so far but you can even take out devastators with these and if you can't take out a hulk with it you can at least land right behind him and then shoot him right in the weak spot you could also land behind tanks and shoot him in the weak spot as well i've had people land on tanks and it doesn't help but you know it'll also do a lot of damage to the bio titans if you 
crash through them. It won't kill them on the first hit, but you know. All right, this next tip is another one about strategy. Essentially, get that mortar turret. That mortar sentry is gonna help you so much. It's really gonna help you on the defending missions. You can just set it up in the back lines and sort of just forget about it. The amount of time that you can just chill because it's taking out drop ships, it's just blowing up everything on the battlefield. It's an easy way to farm XP as well because you can just launch into one of those maps on one of the really hard difficulties and you can get close to a thousand XP for doing almost nothing. Especially if you have like an entire team who's got sentries, like it's it's kind of game over. That would be my recommendation for the first sentry that you would want to get. On this next tip for snow maps, you're gonna wanna watch out for those ice flowers. You know, maybe not set them off, but if you did set them off, a good way to get out of there is to just dive. You're gonna be moving a little bit faster while you're diving compared to the slowed movement because it slows you down so much. I wanna say it's like 50% of your walking speed. It's ridiculously slow. And while you're slow, you're just going to be shot at by the enemies. So just dive out of there. Once again, jumping is going to be a huge benefit here. This next tip is going to help you a little bit more with the automatrons. Pretty obvious tactic here, but stay behind cover. Automatrons have a ton of ranged weapons, and so staying behind cover is going to allow you to take less damage from them and survive a little bit longer on the battlefield. If you've been playing the same way that you would play against bugs, you're wrong. You need to change that up. You need to get behind some cover, but also be aware that whatever cover you're behind, it might get leveled real quick. So just be aware that you might have to go find some new cover and then definitely use cover to go and reload behind. If you're just running out there, like, good luck. That's one of those also situational awareness. Just pay attention to the battlefield. I hope these tips is, have really helped you out as you go out there and liberate the galaxy for Super Earth. Come on with one that you haven't heard before in the comments or add your own tips that you've come up with along your way. Subscribe for more videos like this and ever so slightly, go ahead and touch that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.